In today's video, we're going to be working with a brand new product from a company called Key Trigger, and it's going to make your dry fire practice more realistic and also more efficient. So stick around. joining us on Shoot the Series. My name is Ed Thorell, and uh, we'd like to thank all of you for showing up and tuning in. If you haven't done it already, be sure to hit the like, the share, and the subscribe button so that you'll never miss an episode. Now, today we're really fortunate. We've got a new product that's been sent to us by our good friends at T-Trigger, and they have come up with some new technology to make your dry fire sessions a lot more practical, a lot more effective, and uh, a lot more fun. Now, if you stick with us till the end of the video, we're also going to share with you a special discount that will allow our viewers to uh, save 10%. So stick around because uh, there's fun and games at the end of this. Now, anyway, we're home today because it's about 1,000 degrees outside and we're not stupid. Most of all, because usually when people do dry fire practice, it's at home. So it makes sense that we would do this in home in the environment uh, that it would mostly be done in. Now, we've got two pistols with us today. We've got the Glock 19, we're safe and clear. We've got the Glock 22 in 40 caliber, and it's also safe and clear. Now, one of the big things that you can do to improve your own shooting performance is go through a process known as dry firing. It's dry fire because there are no rounds in the chamber. The chamber is dry. It cannot shoot anything. You're using an empty gun for training purposes. And what we do with dry fire is we try to hold on a target, press the trigger nice and smooth, and make sure that the sight doesn't move around too much. The big drawback is, is it only works for you one shot at a time, which means you have to recycle to, uh, to, to get the, um, the firing pin back into position so that you can take another dry fire shot. And that can be very frustrating. Frustrating because it doesn't give you the realism of follow-up shots which means in many ways you're limited in dry fire to what you can do because it's one shot at a time. Now mind you, this is different if you've got say a double action revolver or double action pistol, but, but for day, today we're really talking about Glocks and we're talking about striker fire. So we have a company that reached out to us by the name of T-Trigger and they come to you uh, from the great country of Israel and they've come up with a product that different groups in Israel, including you know police and military and special forces, are, are using this product to get the most out of their training. And, and what you're gonna get from T-Trigger is basically a replacement magazine for any double stack Glock. So you'll get these, they'll be able to work in nines, forties, or whatever's a double stack. Um, this one here, uh, it's shaped to fit the model 17, so it works in the 17, the 19, and the 26. And what this does is it is set it up so that you can do follow-up shots and, and get better results from your dry fire. Now, with the magazine they send, they also send you a package of springs and the springs are matched to a particular weight so that you can basically put in a different spring depending on what your trigger pull is and each of the springs is color coded so you can go from light to heavy depending on how your uh, pistol springs are set up you can also um, basically adjust back here uh, the pre-travel so you've got some adjustments that you can make on the actual travel of the trigger that's going to make it a, a bit more um, friendly and a little bit more realistic. 
And there's really not much to the way these things work. I mean, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you're safe and clear. Same with the, the Glock 22. We're safe and we're clear. And we're going to start with this one. So to get it started, you're going to notice that there's this little, little uh, bump right here. And that bump is going to go in and it's going to lock. And the first thing you're going to do is right the slide and let it go forward. Now the first pull is going to be kind of long and kind of hard, just like realistic. But as you ease it forward, the reset is going to set so that you can do multiple shots. Stay on target and have a lot better um, results during dry fire because you have the advantage of follow-up shots. So that's really all there is to it, is inserting the magazine, racking the slide, and making it go. Um, also, it doesn't take much to, uh, to remove it. We'll make it safe. It's, it's worth noting that they, they also sent me one that I can use in my Gen 5. But one of the things that's worth adding is the Gen 5, or my version of the Gen 5, has the magazine cut out. And these were designed so that if you needed to strip the magazine, you could actually get a hold of it with two fingers. But it's a little bit different using the T-Trigger. Because of that particular type of cutout, you've got to kind of ease it and work it in to get it past this little bump. So you want to kind of get it started and then give it a tap. Because it's designed to fit a Model 17 magazine well, of course it's going to stand out just a little bit. So it would stick out even further if we were working with a Glock 26. But we rack the slide, same as before. It's going to have a long pull the first time. And you're going to ease it forward to the reset, and it's going to click again. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's worth noting that all that it's really doing is using the mechanics that are already built in to the action of the pistol to enable it to reset. However, it doesn't do anything to uh, harm the rest of the gun. It, it doesn't do anything that's going to make the uh, slide reciprocate. All it's doing is basically um, putting in a, a, a mechanical assist so that the trigger will reset itself. And that way you can stay on target and do dry fire all day long. And I think that's pretty cool. Um, like I said, they come with three different springs so that you can adjust it better to fit the tension of whatever spring you have set up. And uh, that's all there is to disassemble it. Now, if you go to our description box, you can check out the link. And you're going to want to, when you get to checkout, Go ahead and put in the promo code SHOOTER, spelled S-H-007-E-R, and that will save you 10%. And uh, that's real money nowadays. So this is one more tool that you can use in your training that is going to help you improve the consistency of your trigger press, as well as your side alignment, and not having to worry about the high price of ammunition, recoil, we're putting a bunch of bullet holes in your wall at home. So we're going to call that a plus. And we'd like to thank all of our friends at T-Trigger for sending this over to us. And uh, we hope that uh, you're willing to give them a shot also, or at least strongly consider it, and maybe consider this as another tool in your toolbox to helping to make you a better shooter. We'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. We'd like to thank the staff, and we'd like to thank everybody here at Shoe the Series to put in a lot of hidden hours doing all of this just to keep y'all folks entertained. We're not that entertaining. We'd like to thank y'all. Y'all take care.